Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> I'm back, the girl who has no shame when it comes to posting stuff on the internet. I'm actually really excited to be here. I have been thinking about making this video since probably June of 2023, so... <laughs> Hi! It's February. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you know what else is in February? Valentine's Day. One of my favorite holidays. I'm really not a holiday hater. I kind of love everything. But I feel like if I were a holiday, I think I would be Valentine's Day. That or Easter. Pink and red everything. Hearts galore. Romance. Love. Chocolate covered fruit. I'm all for it. So how are we celebrating this wonderful holiday, you might be asking. I'm going to be going through my celebrity crushes, current and old, of both real people and fictional characters. <laughs> No, I'm excited. I tried to make my list kind of chronological, but we will see. Yeah, let's get into it. So funny enough, my first crush doesn't make any sense to me. I vaguely remember being obsessed with him. He was like my first like, whoa, that's a man. I probably was like three or four. American Idol, boy walks in and he's going to audition and it was love at first sight. My first crush was this guy named Sanjaya. I am just as confused as you are. Here's the thing, you'll you'll get a better sense of like what my type is as time goes on. What? Like <laughs> what? I just don't understand, but I loved him and I was devastated when he didn't win. Spoiler alert, but I mean it was like 2005, 2006, so my second crush that I remember having, great pick, wonderful pick. I stand by this today, Prince Eric. Are you kidding me? Dark hair, beautiful blue eyes, he's a prince, he's royal, he's very kind, he's got that beautiful dog. Ariel's my favorite Disney princess as well, so maybe I'm a little biased when I talk about like my favorite Disney princes. I think he's cute. As much as I would love to be Ariel, let's be honest, Honest, I think I'm a bit of a Vanessa. I just might steal Ariel's voice for myself, lure him, and he'll be mine. Moving on, I watched a lot of Disney Channel as a kid, but I wasn't into High School Musical. Even to this day, I don't have that like nostalgic component when watching those movies. So I never had like a Zac Efron phase. I was a Camp Rock girl. And what did they have? Three boys. Out of those three in Camp Rock, who did I pick? Of course, I picked Joe Jonas. I loved him. I had posters of him all over my room. Long, shaggy hair just did it for me. And since it was 2008, pushing 2009, the cinema masterpiece, the classic film, Twilight came out around this time. My mom was really into it as they were coming out, so I, as a child, would always kind of just watch from a distance. Like, I couldn't piece the whole plot together, but I knew about the whole Team Jacob and Team Edward thing. I loved Edward Cullen, and I had the Barbie of him, and I loved taking his shirt off and seeing his glittery chest. That is the best scene in the movie, in my opinion. I was very insistent that Team Edward was the way to go. And when Jacob showed up, I didn't know why she would pick him. But now, rational me in the present moment, my brain says, I am still Team Edward for Bella. Had I been in that world, I am Team Jake. But I never had like an, oh my God, Taylor Lautner phase. So that's why I didn't put him on my list. But he's so cute. I'll give him that. This one I still stand by. When I was five, my mom got me the box DVD set of Full House because she thought I would really like it. Episode one, I got hooked on John Stamos. Definitely one of my earliest crushes ever. Still to this day, watching that show, it can be hard to focus. He is so incredibly good looking and charismatic and he has aged like wine. That one still checks out. I still have a crush on John Stamos. This one too, I think most people would agree with this one. When I was eight, they had the anniversary screenings. I don't know what anniversary it was, but the anniversary screenings of Titanic. The second he got on the screen, it was over for me. I don't remember this, but my parents said that I started just leaning forward whenever Leonardo DiCaprio was on screen. He is an incredible actor. He is cute as can be. And he probably would date me because I'm 20. I got three, four more years in me before I expire, so maybe I still have a chance. Oh my gosh, Leo, hi. <laughs> this next one, jail. But the ones who get it, they get it. If you don't, you don't. It's not real, okay? It's not, it's not real, <laughs> but, but it is. 
My Sims. I have a Let's Play of My Sims on this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. I love My Sims. It genuinely is one of my favorite games of all time. I started playing the Wii version of My Sims. I originally only had My Sims Racing, but the storyline and everything is in just My Sims. But I started playing that when I was like nine. In that game, it's a lot like Animal Crossing. If you want to move people into your town, you have to go to the hotel. There's a guy who works at the hotel named Buddy. I think he's adorable. If I myself were in that universe, I would date him. The only thing that has held me back from dating him, besides him being fictional and not real, is my Sims, you can't outwardly flirt. But whenever I do talk to him with my little avatar girl, he blows me kisses, he gives me flowers. Granted, they all do that. That's just how the game works. There's something special about him. I know that it is weird, problematic even, but he's cute. Like, that's what I'm simping over? Yes and no. I, I gotta move on, I gotta move on. <coughs> it gets worse. I just, I don't wanna even provide any explanation. Jake Short. Jake Short, Short Jake, Jake Short. I'm actually very embarrassed about that, so. Let's go back to the Jonas Brothers, right? Over time, my love of Joe Jonas did just fade away. Somebody got cuter over time. Kevin Jonas has never crossed my mind, don't worry. Nick Jonas. I think he's still very, very cute. So did you see him in Jumanji as the pilot? Also, Nick makes the best solo music, the best solo career moves, I think. Joe, you're not for me anymore. These two kind of go hand in hand. Stranger Things, oh, oh my god. But you know who I got to meet? I met Finn. It's actually why a lot of people watch my videos to this day. I still get comments. What does Finn smell like? How tall is he compared to you? Blah, blah, blah. And at first I was answering those comments. Now I, I just can't look at the comments on that video anymore. Now, would I say that I have a celebrity crush on Finn Wolfhard? No, but I can still look back at the night that I met him and he was incredibly nice to me. And I think that he is a very talented actor and performer. He's still cool in my book. Like no bad blood between the two of us. He isn't my top pick in that show anymore because I have to give that to Joe Curie. Steve? The Hair Harrington. I'm sold. He's just so, he's so cute. You know what I mean? Granted, I'm mostly talking about his character, but I do think Joe Keery seems like a nice guy as well, but he definitely has a girlfriend. So in the context of Stranger Things, hey, hi there. He's protective too, which I really find attractive. Yep. A little after Stranger Things came out was when I watched How I Met Your Mother for the first time. And now I can confidently say that How I Met Your Mother is my favorite television show of all time. It is definitely my comfort go-to. I like funny guys. I really do like funny guys. They could be the most gross, terrible guy in the world, but if they make me laugh once, it is over. Not Barney, because I understand that Neil Patrick Harris does not like TNA, but the other two, Josh Radner and Jason Siegel, love them both so much. I think in the context of the show, I'm the most like Robin, but I also think I have a lot of Ted Mosby in me and a lot of Marshall Erickson in me because Marshall is just so incredibly wholesome. So seeing both those actors play their characters and play them to perfection where I'm crying my eyes out laughing at them, I'm like, oh. Kind of cute. You know, Lily does not deserve Marshall. I do. I feel like my answer changes whether I'm more into Marshall or more into Ted. It just depends on what mood I'm in. So the moment we're all waiting for, right? John Mayer. Oh, what? She likes John Mayer? Yes, I do. And I have for a good chunk of time now. Oh my god! People ask Celebrity Crush, he is my answer. So here's the story. How did I fall for John? Let me tell you. My sophomore year, I was dating this boy, right? He said, hey, there's this John Mayer song that reminds me of us. And I'm like, okay. Like, this boy likes me, I'll listen to it, whatever. And then I was like, wait, this song's like really good. Who's it by? John Mayer. Oh, I only know John Mayer's like, Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriend, like people say he's really like problematic. The song gets catchier and catchier and I'm like, wait, oh my god, like this is a this is a really good song. What else does he have? And I start listening to the other songs that he has and then I'm like, 
what does his Instagram look like? And then I'm like, maybe I should follow him on Instagram. And before I know it, I have become a John Mayer fan. And I'm thinking, this voice is my poison. His body is a wonderland. And I can't imagine my life without him. So even though my sophomore year of high school was a terrible time for me, the best thing that came out of it, besides a lot of lessons, was my love of John Mayer. <laughs> Also, around that time, um, I started watching this show on Netflix called You. Yeah, we know where this is going. I know that Penn Badgley has said you shouldn't find my character attractive. Well, I'm sorry, I do. And he's Dan Humphrey in Gossip Girl, Lonely Boy. I can fix that. His voice does it for me. I like his look, his... His old get up best in season one and season two. Ooh, season three, the cover art of season three. <laughs> oh my god. There's also a tidbit in season two. Joe is mistaken as John Mayer at a party. And that, I'm not even gonna lie, was like a slap to my face. It was like, oh god, you have a type. Let's review here. John Mayer, Josh Radner, and Penn Badgley could be brothers. Let's leave the somewhat tan, dark-haired, stubbly men alone for a second. Let's transition into someone who I still think is very, very attractive, but is very different. Charlie Puth. I honestly think he's a very underrated crush, to be honest. Perfect pitch, boy can sing. I have yet to hear a song of his that I don't like, to be honest. John Mayer had him on. Sorry, I, I know I gotta stop talking about John Mayer. John Mayer had him on Current Mood, which was like his talk show on Instagram for a bit. It's like cuteness overload right now. And another one, this one, I think most people had this face. Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, I'm one of those. I'm one of those. I'm sorry. Not really anymore because the Wonka trailer gave me the ick. I have not seen the film. I've also realized with time that he seems to be a bit of a douche. Even though I do think he's a good actor, I think people do overly hate on him. Lady Bird really just struck something in me. Good girl. <laughs> Oh wow. One second I can recognize, oh he's cute. Next I'm like, eh, douche. It's a bit of a complex with him. Oh, this one's awful. This one I know is bad. I didn't get into H2O until I was like 17. I'd watched it as a kid, but I watched it, watched it. I'm not gonna say Lewis, don't worry. Second a man put a bucket hat on, I would start to leave. <laughs> Zane, right, right. I, I'm not, I'm not crazy for that one, right? Would I go for someone like that now? No. If I was an Australian teenager in 2006, that is the type of guy I would go after. And he's so bad. But I think him and Ricky are adorable until season three. I don't like him in season three. But season one, season two, I'm like. Okay, this one, I still stand by this one now, Milo Mannheim. I am a zombies lover. What could be so wrong with a girl and a zombie? I think he's so, so good looking. Oh God. And I also watched School Spirits, which was recently added to Netflix. Loved it, loved him in it. Was a little jealous of Peyton Liss, but I'm gonna let that go because they're just acting very cute. <laughs> Okay, so remember what I was saying about funny guys? I got three of them for you. Drew Gooden, Curtis Connor, Danny Gonzalez. Same boy, different fonts. Very different fonts, actually. I got into them when I was probably, yeah, like 17, 18, and just, uh-huh. I still watch all of them religiously. Curtis posts the most, so I watch him the most, just by default, but my favorite really is Drew. He's adorable. He's so adorable. But he's married. Actually, they're all married. And Danny Gonzalez is a father. I'm not trying to stir up any trouble with the wives. You all are very, very lucky girls. And I will crush from afar. And we are on our last crush now. So over last year, my freshman year of college, I watched Gilmore Girls for the very first time. We know where this is going, right? Yeah. So which boyfriend did I like the most? There's only one right answer. Dean? That guy sucks. Awful. I pretend he doesn't exist. He's so boring and wimpy. Logan? Oh, pretty good, but still just so irresponsible, so spontaneous. He's too much to deal with. He needs a reality check. So, that only leaves one. Who is still problematic, I understand. 
Jess, 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 Jess. He is so mysterious. And again, he's bad. I hate to be one of those people that say, oh, I like bad boys, because I don't actually like bad boys. I like bad boys on the surface. The way he left and everything, that's not okay. But he's just so hot. That's the end of my list, but also I should stop before I blush myself to death. Am I boy crazy? I don't know. Maybe. I just love boys. Boy, boy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Seriously, mwah, mwah, mwah. I hope you have the most wonderful holiday. I would absolutely love it if you would comment down below any overlaps with some of the crushes that I have had or your all-time celebrity crush. I'm very curious. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and dislike it if you absolutely hated it or if you think that I have awful taste in men, which people love to tell me all the time anyway. Subscribe for more videos that I make in the future. Something fun is happening next week, so you're gonna wanna stick around. Also, you can follow me on Instagram so you can see it there. I'm very excited. Thank you again. And as always, have a magical day.